Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about what is new in this patch and there is quite a lot of things to cover. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing you want to do when you log into the game is open up your chat and you're going to type trick underscore or underscore treat. So I'm going to show you that right now as I hide my webcam. It's simply going to be trick like this underscore or in lowercase underscore treat like that. And once you say that in game, you will receive some items. So boom, you see we say trick or treat, press escape, go to systems over here, go to get campaign items and on account, you'll see voila, we have received a trick or treat. Uh, emote I think I think that's an emote pretty sure that's an emote so we're simply going to consume that as you can see here trick or treat emote already bound to account apparently I have this already now if you're like me and you have this emote already keep in mind this emote is tradable so you can sell it on the market for some extra moolah now the next thing you're going to notice is you have a bunch of limited time quests to complete so there's a bunch of stuff over here and they actually reward you pretty well they give you a lot of star gems over here you have 60 star gems that you can earn and you've got a whole bunch of quests over here which you can do in order to gain a lot of goodies very very nice so by now most people should be done with their mission pass so you can see here I have completed the overrun which is tier 35 and completed all of the rewards over here so do make sure to pick up all of the rewards because the season will be ending relatively soon it ends on November 10th so you've got two weeks left in order to complete the mission pass so do make sure to complete it okay the next thing I want everyone to do is to go to your alliance chat over here and just type something in the alliance chat that is of course if you are in an alliance if you're not in an alliance yet then make sure that you join one and you just type something and you will get rewarded one half scape doll now don't forget there is another campaign going on where you want to do an urgent quest with your alliance members so make sure that you do that within the next two weeks because that is when the event ends so you literally have two weeks to do any urgent quest with any alliance members there is no limit so literally if you have only one member online party up with them and you will get rewarded a enhancement success rate plus 10 percent which is also pretty useful next up i want to show off the mag device skins that you can unlock so you will unlock this mag form over here the calamar when you complete the mission pass so uh at tier 30 actually for that so i'm going to unlock that and then this one is from the event so if you collect 5,000 seasonal points you will be able to get the autumn minamo so i will also uh, unlock that as well all right so let us take a quick look at the calamar as you can see right here it kind of looks like a squid claw looking thing in my opinion i kind of reminds be the matrix like the little squid guys in the matrix but i guess it's not so squid like i mean it's i, I don't know how to explain it but that is the calamar next up is the Otaminamo. as we can see here it looks just like a regular mag but it's painted orange and you've got a whole bunch of bats flying around it very very festive but you know very easy to pick up it costs 5,000 seasonal points you literally just go kill stuff and you will earn this very very quickly so once you're done with all of that, the next thing I want you to do is walk over to Shandy. Shandy will be over here. So we literally come over to the staircase and Shandy will be located right here. We're simply going to talk to her over here and she will give you a bunch of quests. So once she gives you those quests, make sure that you do them because they do give you extra seasonal points, which you can use in order to get all of these rewards. There is the Rappy Stamp. There's the Autumn Branch, which is a accessory. We've got another 100 Star Gems you can earn over here. You've got four special scratch tickets you can pick up over here. And of course, the beautiful, beautiful Flamel Weapon Series. Keep in mind the Flamel Weapon Series are a four-star rarity weapon and they are of the fire element. Since it is the new Halloween event, all of the seasonal mobs are weak to fire. This includes Gigantics. This includes Veterans. This includes the Urgent Quest bosses. This includes just regular mobs. So having a fire weapon will help you significantly in getting those elemental downs. Now there is a downside to this and that is that the flamel series do not cover all the weapons. So you can see here that there is no flamel katana. Very, very unfortunate. I'm pretty sad about it. But there is a weapon type for every single class. So don't worry, you will be able to use the flamel weapon series. The only compromise you're going to have to make is you might not be able to use your preferred weapon. All right. Next up, you can see they have increased the weekly cap for the points that you can earn. They went from 100,000 to 150,000. So now you can earn a little bit more points every single week. I was a little bit surprised when I saw this. Honestly, I thought that they would just straight up remove the cap. 
but I mean, it's still pretty good. 150,000 points, I think most people aren't gonna hit this cap, only crazy people like myself and maybe like Uber and other hardcore players are gonna hit this cap. Um, I think the general public is gonna hit like maybe 100k at most, maybe like 50 to 80k. Most normal people are gonna play around that much, all right? If you're super crazy, super hardcore, and you wanna hit the cap because you wanna buy everything out of the store, then sure, farm like crazy, get to that 150,000 points every single single week. Keep in mind you don't need to do that. Literally if you hit the 150,000 points cap every week, you can buy everything in like two weeks. Maybe like two and a half weeks basically, all right? So there's no rush at all. You can literally just farm normally, get your 50,000 or 80,000 every single week and you'll be fine. Because don't forget that your dailies over here just by themselves gives you 1,500 points every single day just by doing the two dailies. And your weeklies over here will give you another 20,000 seasons no points all right so basically even if you just do your weeklies and your dailies you'll be fine you'll be able to buy all of the important items out of the shop because literally there's a whole bunch of the flamel weapon series which costs 10,000 points and you can literally farm for these weapons so there's no need to buy these from the shop and also another reason why I recommend people to actually farm for their flamel weapons is because one the flamel weapons can drop fixes now of course you know the drop rate is low so people are like ah oh, that's too much work but the second one and the most important one is there is color variants. So instead of having the red bow, as we can see over here, you can get a blue colored variant, which looks a lot nicer in my personal opinion. So I'm gonna be going for the blue flamel weapons. So probably the bow in my case. Now, while we're still on the topic of the shop, they have added new items over here, which are pretty useful. First of all is the fire exploit. This is extremely good if you don't have a flamel weapon. Let's say you're like me, you play braver and you only play braver. What you can do is you can make a katana and get fire exploit 1 and put an augment onto it which increases the potency against enemies weak to fire so you basically get the same effect as the flamel weapons because uh, you just deal extra damage because they're weak to fire so you can still use your katana and play that way. Another thing I want to point out is Dido Soul 2. Pettis Soul 2, Nex Soul 2 is available in the event shop so you do want to pick these up. These are very very powerful capsules. You can pick up 10 of them from the shop. It'll cost you 10,000 points total because it costs a thousand per capsule, but it is worth it. All right, please, please, please pick these up. They are extremely, extremely powerful and just buy all of them. All right, even if you don't use a range weapon, even if you don't use a tech or a melee, you could always sell these on the market for a lot of Meseta. These were the ones that made me the most Meseta when I had my three day shop pass. So they are very, very profitable. Please pick them up. Next up, I want to talk about the regional mags. Please please, please, please make sure that the regional mags, all three of them are fully fed, all right? You can see if they're fed or not by looking at the top right corner, you see our mag boosts all. It ends in six hours and 19 minutes, means it's full, great. This one over here, West Alio, also full, ends in 21 hours and 22 minutes, great. The bottom one at South Alio over here just got fed, ends in 23 hours and 44 minutes, also very good. The reason why you want to make sure that they are all fed is simply because of the seasonal bonus. See Seasonal enemies appearance rate plus 15%. This is super duper important. It makes more enemies seasonal enemies, which are the ones that actually give you the seasonal points. Also, you may have noticed that the mobs are giving you a lot more seasonal points as well. So basically, just make sure that all three seasonal mags are fully fed and good to go. That way, your farming session will become more efficient. While we're talking about farming, where do seasonal enemies spawn? At the moment, they only spawn in Resil Forest for combat zones. However, exploration zones, they spawn everywhere. Central Alio, South Alio, West Alio, and North Alio. So if you're just out adventuring, go forth and kill everything. It'll be fine. But if you are looking for a combat zone, only Resil Forest spawns the event enemies at the moment. So I don't know if it's on a rotation or not, but it spawned Resil Forest and it's still Resil Forest for me. So I'm just going to continue farming there. Now you also get this limited time quest to find Autumn Vampkins. So where do you find these Autumn Vampkins? The most common place that I've seen them spawn is Central Alio. Literally this region right here spawns a bajillion of them. I literally just activated that quest and I just ran in a straight line and it was just like, bing, there's one here, bing, there's one there, bing, there's one there. 
there and I just ran around in a circle and boom I was done all right so gathering these pumpkins are very very important because you can just use them to feed the regional mags because they give point rate plus 200 percent that is a lot and these pumpkins don't overlap with your crisp tomatoes and all of your other crisp food which you use for like buffing yourself you can literally just pick these up and then just feed them to the regional mag because you don't need to eat them so very very nice and last but not least if you're having trouble finding all 10 of the mysterious holographs here is a map you're welcome it is courtesy of uber he was the one that posted it i literally copy pasted and i'm just sharing it with all you guys so that you can find the things a lot easier instead of making a video showing you where to run you can just look at the map it's super easy okay special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to cover in today's video hopefully you guys found it helpful if you did i would appreciate a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! Can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, the 